wait a minute. I remember from the last tutorial, Bucky, you said that whenever we make an app, right after we make the template for it, we need to go in websites and settings right here. And then we need to go ahead and put it in installed apps. So that way, whenever we boot up our server, it's gonna go and say, okay, let me go ahead and check out your installed apps and make sure they're all working with the database correctly. So what you do here is you just write the package name or the app name, which is music. And then check this out. So it's music, apps, music config. So that's where that configuration file comes in. Apps, music config. So again, this just refers to this app basically. All right, now don't forget your comma right there. And you may be thinking right now, all right, everything looks good. I mean, we have our template right there and we made sure to do this. So let's just go ahead and boot this server up. But you remember in the last tutorial, whenever we did that, it said, give us a little issue because it said, all right, these migrations are not applied or it said something like that. Well, that's what's gonna happen if we just boot it up right now. Because what happens whenever you start your server is it goes and it looks right here. And for each app that's installed, it's gonna go look at those models and check to see that these models match the database. And right now they don't because even though we defined our template or blueprint right here, we didn't reflect that in our database structure. So that is kind of the last piece of the puzzle. That's where those migrations or changes come in. So how do we do that? It is the easiest thing ever. Just type python manage.py and type make migrations music. So what we're doing in this command is we're just telling Django, hey, we made some changes to the music model. In this case, what we did is we just added two classes. And if we go ahead and hit enter, then what's gonna happen is this. It says, okay, I made these migrations. In other words, I made these changes right here. And if you guys don't know what a migration is, then you guys don't have to type this if you don't want, but I'm gonna show you. And this probably is gonna make everything click for you. So if I go manage.py SQL migrate music 0001, because that's what this ID number is right here, look at what it is. So all the migration is basically taking whatever changes you have and it converts them to a SQL file. So you see what it's doing in this case is creating a table for albums, creating a table for songs, and it's creating a bunch of columns. So again, a migration is just a change to your database. That's it, that's all we're doing whenever we're talking about migrations, make these migrations, whatever. So now we have this SQL file or change file created. Now all we have to do is actually just run it like you're running an SQL file. So this is what we did in the last tutorial. Python manage.py migrate. So again, the first command makes the change file and this command right here actually runs it. So it says apply all migrations, running the migrations. Basically now our database is synced with this code. So now check out what happens whenever we run our server. We run and we do not have any issues. So again, one last time, what happens is whenever your website first starts up, whenever your server first gets booted up, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and it's gonna look at a website settings. So it's gonna scroll down here and look at all of your installed apps. Now for each installed app, it's gonna go and it's gonna look at that model. So it's gonna review it and it's gonna make sure that this structure right here, the structure of whatever data you're working with in your code reflects whatever data you can save in your database. If it doesn't sync up, then that's when it gives you that error. If it does, then everything runs fine. So again, if you ever see that error, then what you need to do is you just need to make your migration file and then just run it. 
And if all of that sounds confusing, all you have to remember is three steps. Whenever you need to make a change to your database structure, just go ahead and make the change in code right there. And then you write two lines. The first one is make migrations. Where are you at? Make migrations and then migrate. That's it. So again, anytime you want to make a change, this make the changes in the models.py file, make migrations, and migrate. So just let Django know that you made some changes and apply them to the database. Boom roasted, you will be good to go. Working with databases is a piece of cake. Trust me. I will see you guys in the next video.